What's up everybody? Welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. I'm Rebel and today I'm going to teach you how to go over cracks in the sidewalk when you are skating outside. Straight Skates is a YouTube channel all about roller skating. So if you want to learn how to roller skate or you are a roller skater, you love roller skating, I definitely think that you should subscribe because this channel is literally for you. I put out new videos every Tuesday and I hope that you love them. The first way to go over cracks is by speeding over them. So in order to do this, we're going to need to stagger our legs, very important to have one foot in front of the other. We're gonna make sure that our knees are really bent and then we are going to pick up some speed and then we're gonna go over the cracks. We're gonna try really hard to be light on our feet. I know it's really hard to kind of grasp that concept, but we're gonna kind of try and lift up within our bodies when we're going over the crack, but we're not gonna lift up our feet. You're going to feel a little bit of a bump. You're going to, at first, probably be a little bit thrown off by it, but once you do it a few times, you're going to get more comfortable with it. And the key here is that the faster you go, the easier it's going to be for you to get over that crack. Now, this option is not good for very big cracks. It's mostly good for smaller cracks, little twigs, stuff like that. The next way of going over cracks is to step over the crack. So what we're doing here is we're going at it with a staggered stance with our knees bent, but when that crack comes up, we are going to pick up our first foot, step over it, and then step over it with the second foot. This doesn't require any jumping. It's just kind of like taking a step when you're walking, except you have a little bit more speed. You wanna make sure that you're timing it right, seeing the crack on the ground, and then stepping over it with one foot and stepping over it again with the second foot. Don't forget that second foot, because if not, you might end up tripping yourself with your toe stop if you're not going fast enough to just roll over the crack. Cracks in the sidewalk are nasty, and a lot of times there's gonna be a lot of debris in the road, and one thing that I tend to do, besides always keeping that staggered stance where I'm bending my knees, is to step over any obstacles that come my way. Finally, you can jump over the cracks. Now, doing jumps, I'm not talking about like airing out over this crack, like I'm not talking about doing anything crazy. What I'm talking about is doing a little bit of a jump, just a little hop over the crack. And when you have enough speed, only just a little bit of momentum going up is going to get you over that crack, absolutely no problem. Definitely in order to do this, you're gonna wanna be comfortable with jumping in general, and you're gonna wanna have a little bit more speed when you're doing jumping over cracks as opposed to just stepping over the crack. So you're just going to go up to the crack, you're gonna have your feet staggered again, and then your knees bent so that they can push you off and you can just do that little hop over the crack and then continue skating. Thanks for watching this episode of Queer Girl Straight Skates. I hope that you learned a little bit about going over cracks and are a little bit less intimidated by that street obstacle that we talked about today. If there are other things that you wanna learn how to do, put them down in the comments below and I will make videos to help you conquer each of your skating fears. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to support me, you can shop cheerstothequeers.com or become a Patreon. I make new little vlogs every week for my Patreons. And most importantly, cheers to the queers!